Welcome back to virtual equations students. We are still in unit number five, right? And then we are still actually in 6.1. Now we're going to be using substitution to uh, shift the summation index uh, into a general term involves this x to the k power. This is very common, okay? Right now, when you look at this, right, I see x to the n minus three. And that's why we have this n equals three. Basically, I don't want this, I want the x to the k power, okay? So, like, if I were to hit that out, like, I want x to the k power. But I have, so I don't want n minus 3, right? So, basically, I want the x's, right? I just don't want, I want the power to be k, not n minus 3. So, make my k equal to n minus 3, right? That should make sense, because then I can just like plug it in, right? Which uh, implies, which I usually say like things like thus, n equals k plus 3, right? Just simple addition across, okay? So I have that, okay? Now the next thing I do, right, is I, I have what I need, basically. I just need to plug in, right? Plug in the stuff that I want. Okay, well, let's see. This part here is coming out, and this part's going in for it. Okay. Well, here if I go to write this summation sign. This n equals 3 here can't be there, because I can't have an n, right? I, I can't have that n. n equals this k plus 3, right? So I could put k plus 3 equals then 3, right? Like I've literally taken out this n because I know it's k plus 3, okay? Now this is still a little bit goofy. Usually we don't see it like this, but that's okay. We can leave it just like that, all right? Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in everything else. So I have 2 times, okay, again, this n right here is this. So I'm going to plug k plus 3 in here. Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't, I can't believe I did that. It's okay. I underlined this a couple times. This n right here isn't the, is this, uh, you know, I had it right, this n is k plus 3, so I'm going to plug in k plus 3 here. And then trying to keep it color coded so you can see it clearly. Then it's minus one, right? Then it's c sub n. Well, again, it's not there anymore, right? So I have c sub what's n? Well, the n is this k plus three here. So I have a k plus three, right? And then I have x. To the n minus 3, well, n minus 3, that's this thing here, is equal to just k, right? So I can just put a k up here. Okay, that's me pulling it in. Of course, we won't want to keep it like that. Like, there's some things that we should be able to simplify. Uh, the infinity still sits up here. If I move the 3 over, I would have k equals 0 to infinity of, well, this would be a 2k plus 6 minus 1 would be a plus 5 c sub k plus 3 and then I have x the k and then this is a summation right a power series with it involving this x to the k power that's actually the first video over um, manipulating the summation indexes, indices, I should say, and uh, this x sub k power. Coming next, I'm going to do another one. Okay, maybe this one will be a little bit ch more challenging.